zombie apocalypse. Good morning, Tinkercad world. How about a quick car design? Uh, get into Tinkercad as usual. I'm going to use the beta, which is now the real one. I don't want the legacy design. When it pops up, I'm going to call it Cool Car. For your car, I want to make mine kind of streamlined today, so I'm going to use a cylinder. When you bring that cylinder out, if you click on the little rotation aerial, you can actually type in your number. So I wanted to rotate my 90 degrees, and then I want to make a slick body, kind of like a Corvette would have, where it's got rounded sides. You can grab the black handle to stretch it out. Uh, I'm going to stay in a size that I'd be willing to print, so I'm going to go at 40 millimeters. I'm going to also make it a little wider at 27, and I'm going to raise it up just a hair. So now I've got the body for my awesome car. I'm going to use one of the new features. I'm going to also make it transparent. I want to make it so that there is a seat in my car today as well. To create that seat, I'm going to drag a box out. I'm going to use the align tool so that it's centered in this direction. I don't care where it is uh, as far as being centered uh, in the front or back of the car. I'm going to choose that I want my car's uh, seating area to be right here. I'm going to raise it up so that it doesn't touch the bottom, making sure that it's inside. I'm going to turn that into a hole, and I'm going to shrink it down so that it's not overly big. And then I am going to group those two pieces. At this point, I'm going to bring out my chair, shrink it down to what I want my car seat to look like, raise it up so that it's on the correct work plane, to make my life easier, I'm going to hit W for work plane, and I'm going to set it to the bottom of my seating area. And then I can actually read the numbers, and I know when I've reached the zero level. Shrink this down so that my chair is, or my seat is inside the car. Get my proportions the way I want them. And then I'm going to simply duplicate using Control D. And I'm going to take that new one and I'm going to shrink it down by a few millimeters. I'm going to use the awesome center trick to center those two pieces. I'm holding shift to click both. Let's try it again this way since that didn't work. Now I've got both. And I'm going to align, and I want to align them to the top, and I want to align them to the center. And then I want to take the inside of the seating area and make it a hole. I missed and did that the opposite, so I'm going to undo that. Now I've got the inside one. I'm going to make it a hole. All right, when you're struggling like this, uh, I'm going to undo, and here's the smartest way to fix this. Click on the big one and make it invisible, so you can click on the little one so you can make it a hole. Then click on this so you can make them all visible again by hitting Show All. Now when I group those two pieces, and I'm arranging my world so I'm just touching both, I have got a cutout seat for my uh, sweet little race car that I'm making. I'm going to make it a one-seater. This would be where you put the gas tank and stuff. I'm just giving you the idea here. You can take this to whatever crazy level you want. Right now, I'm going to add a front to my car, once again, using the awesome W tool to put the work plane on the front. And then I want the front of my car to be a half sphere. And the nice thing about the half sphere is I can stretch it out and make it so that it meshes really well with my cool design. So you can see I stretched and tweaked using the black handles, not the white handles. When I think it's totally groovy, then I can group the two pieces uh, so that it becomes permanent and it looks like a pretty darn nifty little car. I'm going to do something cool for the back end as well, once again using that work plane. I'm going to give it dual rocket engines. Uh, I'm going to use the cool cone tool. I'm going to do shift to get it to the size that I like. And then to make it look more like a rocket engine. I'm going to add a tube to it. 
Once again, I've still got my work plane lined up. I'm holding shift so it all scales down at once. I'm going to hold down shift and select both of those and use the awesome align tool. And bam, you can snap them so that they look like a uh, rocket engine that ungrouped because it looks cooler uh, with the two colors. And then I'm going to grab those two and I'm going to do control D to duplicate and I'm going to slide them to the left with my arrow keys. So now I've got a sweet rocket engine on my little car. Let's add wheels real quick. I'm going to press W and set the work plane back to the blue. I want my wheels to be straight with the seat. So I'm going to click on the seat and I'm going to grab a cylinder tool. And when I bring it out, I can hold down shift and get it to my cylinders or my wheel size. I'm going to use those for the wheels in the back. Use my arrow keys to align it. I'm going to change the thickness to something that's wiser. Instead of 12, I'm going to make it 4. And then I'm going to use the pull tool to bring it out where I want it. I'm going to say right there's a good place for where I want my wheels. Of course, they got to be black. And then I'm going to duplicate. Control D. I'm going to slide it forward, and just for keeping it simple, I'm going to keep them the same size. I'm going to do group so those two stay together. I'm going to do Control D, and I'm going to shut off the work plane again. And now with those duplicates, because I shut off the work plane, it's arranged so I can just use the arrow keys and move my wheels over. You need axles connecting them, so I'm going to make another cylinder, this time coming right off one of the wheels. I'm going to use this cool trick to hide the car so it's not in my way as I build. I'm going to drop that cylinder on the wheel, and I'm going to do shift and select it and shrink it down so that it gets to a nice size for my axle. That's still quite large. That makes me happy. I'm going to use the arrow keys to line it up, and then I'm going to use uh, the ungroup tool to get my wheels so they are split up, and I'm going to group my wheels the correct way. So I'm going to group it, so I've ungrouped that set, I've ungrouped that set, so now I can group my wheels side by side. And then what's nice is I can align this and this super simply uh, using the align tool. And I can just say I want them to be centered in that direction, in that direction. Now I can take my lovely little axle, select somewhere else, and I can stretch him all the way across so that he connects to my other wheel. Then I can take that one. And I can duplicate it and move it across. And it is actually uh, able to line up by just using the arrow keys. But I'm going to just do the alignment trick again where I group my two wheels together. And then with those grouped, I can click on the centerpiece, the axle, and let's align those as well. Shift click to get both. Align. And I want them centered and centered. Perfect. I'm going to group those. And set them to black. Of course you can make them any color. It just feels more traditional to me. And then I'm going to go back to show all so I can see my little nifty car. You can see my axle won't spin, but for this project, I'm not worried about spinning. I just want to make a sweet car. Right now, I want to add the roof to my car. And I'm going to do it once again with the cool half sphere. And I want to make sure that it comes in perfectly flat. So I'm going to find a flat piece and use that as my work plane. I'm going to set it to transparent just because that makes it look a lot cooler as I align this. 
bring it to the front of my car grab that black handle to stretch it back make it a little wider so that it gets to the edge and gets to the edge and now I can push it down in so that when I merge it it's going to perfectly fit with my car. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to do the align tool to make sure it's centered. Move to my wheels too. I'm going to just cheat and nudge those a click. Notice I got it set for one millimeter. I've done the whole project in the one millimeter mode. And then I want to cut out that bubble. So I'm going to do control D. First I'm going to hide these parts. So that they're not in my way. And when I do control D, it makes a second one. I'm going to make it uh, green. And I want to change its measurements. See how it says 25 and 32? I want to make it 30. And I want to make it 23. So I took away a millimeter uh, from each side if you like averaging. And now when I select both of those, I can take the green one. I'm going to do that hide trick to hide the pink one for a second. And I'm going to make the green one a hole again. All right, so the green one is a hole, and I'm going to hold down shift to select the pink one, and I'm going to use a line, and I want them centered, and I want them centered, and I want them at the same on the bottom level. And then I just want to shrink the green one by a millimeter. I forgot that measurement. I'm going to make it nine as well so in x and y i took away two millimeters one for each side but since this is a half circle i only have to take one millimeter away from the top now when i hold down shift and i group i have cut out the uh, car area so there's a hollow place for our rider to sit i'm going to bring back show all and i'm going to say that that little car is pretty darn groovy of course, there's many other things you can add. Have fun. Go nuts. See just how incredible your little...